hello guys welcome back to my channel um for today i'm gonna be doing this makeup look this is a soft natural makeup look and I'll, i've been enjoying wearing this makeup lately so if you guys want to see how i create it then just keep watching so i'm starting with my um eye cream this is the cetaphil eye cream and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply my foundation. I'm mixing these two. Um, I already have my primer and my moisturizer. And I'm just going to apply it all over my face. And now I am using my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Snow. And I'm applying it under my eyes, doing like a triangle shape. And after that, I'm just going to go in um, on my nose, my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. This is a really good concealer if you have dry skin. Um, I like it because like it, it kind of reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape concealer. It has a really good coverage and it's not as like matte. So I really, really like it. And now I'm using this um, contour palette from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. And I'm going to be using the third shade on my face to contour so I'm contouring under my cheeks and I'm taking it all the way to my eyebrows so um, it can mix with my eyeshadow shade that I'm going to be using and I'm going to be mixing, mixing, oh my god, I'm going to be blending everything out with my sponge. And I tried to do it on my nose, but it was already kind of like dried out, so it was hard to blend. And so I grabbed one of my Morphe um, eye blending brushes, and that worked. I forgot to tell you guys to ignore my um, nails, um, there's no way I could get them fixed right now, so I'm just trying to like take them off. I know they look gross, but it is what it is. And now I'm using my Huda Beauty um, powder, and this is in pound cake, so I'm just um, pressing it into my eyes. And I like to go over under my eyes twice um, just to make sure that I don't crease after. And then after that, I'll um, set my chin, my forehead, and the sides of my nose. Para que se mire mi nariz bien flaquitita. And then I'll just set the rest of my face. I want it to be all matte. So um, I'm not going to use the highlight. And then I set a little bit um, under my cheeks. So, um, para no vermos tan cachetones, me pongo esto y I leave it there for just a little bit. I have dry skin, so I don't want to leave it there for a long time. And then I'm setting my whole face with the rest of the powder. Luego ya nos ponemos a barrer. Um, I dust off the powder, the extra powder, with my Sigma F25. I really like this brush to do that. Um, it's really soft and it does the job. And then I'm just going to contour a little bit with my MAC um, Matte Bronze Bronzer. And I'm using a Sigma brush to do that. So now I'm going to go start go ahead and start with my eyes and I'm going to pry them for
first with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm going to blend it up with one of my blending brushes from Morphe. And the palette that I'm going to be using is the Morphe um, 35OM. And I'm going to be using um, these colors right here, like the natural shades, the gray, and the medium brown. So the first eyeshadow that I'm using is a really natural shade. That's the first one that I'm going to be using as a transition color. So now I'm starting with the darker shade and this is like a gray brown eyeshadow and I start under my eyebrow and then I just work down um, into my eye and we do the V shape and um, slowly build up the color. You could go darker if you want but I'm just starting slowly. Um, I just want this to be like a really natural soft um, look. So I don't want to go too, too dark. So now I'm cleaning up the edges with the first shade that I use as a transition color. And I like to do this so everything could look well blended. So now I'm going to use the light shade that I'm going to use on my lid. And we're going to be applying it. Well, basically doing like a cut crease, but not. But I'm not using a um, concealer. We're just using the eyeshadow, and I'm using a flat brush from Mac. And not using a concealer makes it look more soft and natural. So um, that's why I'm not using a concealer to cut the crease. But that's basically the same technique that you do and again build up the color always start slowly um, so you won't have a mess so now all I'm doing is blending the edges um, so it could look more softer and um, the colors blend together so now I'm bringing the color um, under my eyes and after that I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara before applying my lashes and I did that um, off camera. And you can wear this look without lashes just with mascara and it still looks pretty um, cute and natural um, but I want to use lashes for this video. So now I'm going to do my lips and I'm going to be using my lip liner from Morphe and this is in Sweet Tea. For lipstick, I'm not going to use the lipstick. Um, I'm doing this trick that I saw from someone, I can't remember. Um, so I'm using my lip liner first and then I'm just going to apply a little bit of foundation or concealer in the middle of my lips and blend it together.